The practice of dissecting human cadavers for medical purposes did not become an integral part of medical training until the Renaissance. During this era, significant medical advancements were made, and the dissection of human bodies played a vital part in contributing to this progress. Medical students and professors face the challenge of accessing corpses for their research, so grave robbers, known as resurrectionists, stepped in to help meet the demand. If the grave was shallow, thieves could exhume a body in less than an hour. Anatomists refused to buy corpses that were decomposed, so 10 days became the average time between burial and theft. In 1788, it was reported that a body had been stolen from a Manhattan graveyard. In response, an angry mob ransacked the New York hospital. The following day, 5,000 people marched down Broadway toward the jail where medical students had been placed for safekeeping. When the mob refused to disperse, Governor George Clinton ordered out the militia who opened fire and charged with bayonets. Three rioters were killed, six were wounded, and three militiamen died. In response to the riot, New York State outlawed body snatching, but permitted the bodies of executed criminals to be used in dissection. The supply, however, did not keep up with the demand, and throughout the 19th century, many states passed laws permitting dissection of unclaimed dead bodies. Today, many people are willing to donate their bodies to science, yet there still remains a shortage of donated cadavers. This has led some states to rely on their 19th century laws, allowing unclaimed bodies to be handed over to medical schools for dissection. But is this ethical? And is this modern day practice significantly different from grave robbing? What do you think?